Hi everybody, it's Tim. As you can see, it is raining out. I guess we had our last, last day of summer yesterday. It was almost 80 degrees. And um, I spent all day long in this pond, catching all the koi, getting them all out, removing all the cattails, cutting them down for winter. So at least that's done. As you can see, there are plenty of palm trees still to be covered up. Today is gonna to be about moving all the tropicals inside because on Wednesday of this, it's Sunday today, on Wednesday of this week, it is going down to zero Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're probably gonna have frost. So my goal is to get tropicals in and then I have to attack the palms like I've never attacked before. I'm always behind, always behind, but I especially feel so this year. And I have a lot of things I haven't built anything for. A date palm, another Mediterranean palm, fan palm, a, another Washingtonia robusta that on a whim I put in and it grew a lot. And then I have three bougainvilleas, actually I have four, that I need to cover up for the winter because they're gonna stay outside. Oh, and two olive trees. So I have a lot to do, a whole lot to do. And I would love to say that I could spend all day Sunday doing stuff, but I have a Zoom board meeting, so so much fun. But I just want to show you some things I've been working on. So the pond, the waterfall, had just completely been overgrown with plants. I don't know why they got so invasive this year, maybe because it rained so much. The pond itself stayed so nice and clear all summer long, and I guess it's because all the muck was up here. Of course, now having pulled all those plants out, the muck is now down in my pond. And there were so many frogs yesterday because it was so warm out, but hopefully they're all hiding and the fish are gone and I just need to move the lilies down to the lower part and I will close the waterfall out maybe in a two weeks or so, sadly. Um, my canary gig palm actually looks much better without all those plants around. And uh, you can see here, my olive tree has olives on it. So that's kind of exciting. And I'm just waiting for them to ripen up, but I'm gonna have to cover them as well at some point, but they can handle cold for a while. And here you can see a few of the tropicals that still need to come inside. I um, have brought some in already. I'm gonna bring more in today. I'm not quite sure what to do with all these baby palms because the seed sprouted, they came up. Now I have to figure out what to do with them all. I have citrus to put in. I have a lot of my gingers to go in, some of my agaves, as you can see back over here. And I still have a few more things to get in. But yes, very busy, busy, busy time here trying to get in everything in the rain. So this is the beginning in the garage. Things are lined up. Still have so much more to put in, but this is my main space. So I just throw everything in here instead of a car. And I have fluorescent lights above. Over here, you can see all the palm structures that I have yet to go outside. And then I'll show you, I have more space in here, but I have to clean out some areas. This will all be plant space. That's my tequila agave there and some of my agave Americanas. I need to move some boxes. I've got the tree ferns in. I will put a lot of stuff up on that shelf in here. There'll be more stuff over here. And then my koi are all in here for the winter. So that'll keep some moisture going. And back there you can see I've already brought my oleanders in. So that's just a little update of the craziness that is going on here. Hope all of you are getting your stuff inside and getting your palm trees ready. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.